in an ongoing constructionally receive a non-conformance report or NCR. Why we commonly receive this kind of issue? Is it a normal thing happening in a construction project or we misinterpret the drawing or is there a reason why we should receive NCR? As I mentioned in this article 10 project forms that a QAQC engineer must have that an NCR is sometimes used to withhold the payments, so everyone in a project must aware of this and take extra care upon delivering a project. But before we go on, please consider subscribing so you won't miss our new updates, and don't forget to click the bell icon and share this video. This is not only for QAQC engineers information but for the whole organization within the project. Here I will show a step by step on how to close the non-conformance report that has been issued. The most practical reason why we received NCR is perhaps the specification is not met, drawing not followed, and material delivered or installed not as per material approval request. And most commonly a non-conformance could be identified through site surveillance, work inspection, material inspection, testing, and quality audits. A non-conformance can be detected by a consultant, QAQC engineer, and project or site engineer but if it's found by QAQC engineer an internal non-conformance notice shall be issued and that shall be resolved internally. But when the consultant finds it then the non-conformance report will then be issued. So to prevent the delay of closure and may lead to withholding of payment here are the steps on how to immediately resolve the non-conformance report NCR. 1. Set a meeting with the project manager or construction manager. Once you receive a non-conformance report, as QAQC engineer you are the one who will carry out for immediate NCR closure. Discuss with your quality manager if he is available if not, make an initial meeting with the project manager or construction manager, and discuss with them what will be the actions to be applied. The manager shall suppose to assign a project or site engineer to carry out the action to be taken. Once meeting adjourns and actions to be taken are set you will accompany the project engineer or site engineer to verify the cited location in the NCR. 2. Carry out corrective action. When a location of non-conformity is identified, corrective action shall start to implement. Let's give an example of NCR concrete bulged from concrete wall. During chipping or hacking you should take a documentary photo this will serve as part of attachments as the initial action. A form of NCR that you can use and find here in 10 project forms that a QAQC engineer must have to write your action taken. Action taken. 3. Inspect. Once initial action has been done, bulged concrete has been shipped off. A QAQC engineer may then raise an inspection request or IR to the consultants for verification. Just make sure before bringing the consultant to the area, the chipped surfaces are cleaned and material for repair are in place so that after the consultant's acceptance and approval of the area you can start the application of repair while it is being watched. Take a documentary photo during repairs. This stage is a verification stage by consultants. 4. Closure of documents. When the inspection request is approved and make sure corrective action is written in the form as well as the preventive action, once the document is ready then it will be submitted through document transmittal form or DTF but make sure the documentary evidence is attached such as photos and approved inspection request. Here is a sample of a corrective and preventive action written below. Place your company name here, reply for non-conformance report number 22. Assessment slash corrective actions. Place your company name here, site crews, foreman and charge hand, have been instructed by the site management to immediately rectify slash reinstate the above mentioned non-conformances and we confirmed that the rectification was done in the following manner. Loose concrete from honeycomb was chipped out with handheld tools to ensure that there are no void spaces remained. Cleaning was made on the affected area in order to ensure that there is good bonding between the concrete and cement as approved material for repair. The bulged area of the surface has been chipped out with 10 mm minimum depression so that there is room for filling of cement as approved material for repair. Preventive actions proposed by, place your company name here. Site engineers have been instructed to check and see to it after shuttering of such item of works if it is safe, 
stable, and prepared enough to cast the concrete in it in order to prevent such sighted non-conformances to have happened again, have happened again. Foreman and charge hand the site management to enforce thorough inspection within their respective areas of assignment so that there would not be any non-conformances to be noticed. Preventive actions initiated. QAQC engineer is also making inspection for their works pertaining to shuttering ensures that shutters are tightly supported with a strut and strong enough to receive concrete, resist vibration, and other factors that cause bulging of concrete. Site engineer, who has the responsibility to verify and see to it that the work of his workman is correct as per detailed drawing for carpentry or others. If the inspection request is approved, the NCR is most likely to be closed. The closed NCR will then go to the document controller to log and update the revisions if it is in revision status. As a QAQC engineer, you will then update your own register of NCR. I hope that the mentioned steps have helped those new engineers on how to close an NCR. If you have supplements you may write down in the comment section below. That's it to it. Please subscribe and click the bell icon so you won't miss our next informative videos like this. There are two more appearing videos that you want to see, please go ahead and click that. Thank you for watching, Q for watching.